An enigma surrounding a volcanic tsunami from 1650 has been unraveled after nearly four centuries. For the longest period of time, people have wondered how a 20 meter or 66 foot high tsunami was spawned during an underwater volcanic eruption. Historical accounts detailed the catastrophic effects of the underwater volcano Columbo's eruption in the Aegean Sea, and modern studies using seismic scans have finally painted a picture of what happened here. So let's take a look at what this study says. Since the late 1700s, tsunamis triggered by volcanic activity have resulted in over 55,000 deaths. The creation of such tsunamis is typically a result of multiple factors, such as underwater blasts, fiery volcanic debris flows, the sinking of caldera formations, and the crumbling of volcanic flanks. Recent examples include the eruption of the volcano in Tonga during 2022, and the collapse of the Anak Krakatau volcano in Indonesia in 2018. Both events underscore the severe threat that volcanic eruptions pose in terms of tsunami generation, particularly in shallow waters and areas where the land meets the sea. Dr. Jens Karsten and his team from the GMR Helmholtz Center for Ocean Research in Kiel have applied advanced imaging technology to map the seabed crater of Colombo, leading to a new understanding of the event. Their research, recently published in Nature Communications, confirms that the eyewitnesses' descriptions are consistent with the sequence of a landslide and subsequent eruption. This solves a nearly four century long mystery. The tsunami was birthed from a landslide above all else, and much like the flank eruption of Mount St. Helens, this induced an explosive eruption. Spectators from Santorini in 1650 witnessed the weeks long eruption, observing water discoloration and seawater boiling before witnessing the volcano's emergence. The cataclysm involved glowing rock ejections, atmospheric fire and lightning, smoke clouds, and then a devastating tsunami with waves as high as 20 meters. The effects were felt far and wide, with loud detonations, ash fallout, and lethal gas emissions joining the tsunamogenic induced chaos. These detailed descriptions were preserved in 19th century compilations by a French volcanologist, and to decode the mystery of the tsunami and the volcano's explosive behavior, Carstens, along with German and Greek colleagues, surveyed the site in 2019, utilizing the then active research vessel Poseidon. They created a 3D seismic image of the crater, now 18 meters or 59 feet below sea level. The crater's dimensions indicated a massive explosion, and seismic data showed significant deformation of the volcano's flank. By comparing the historical accounts with modern seismic and simulation data, the team concluded that the tsunami's magnitude could only be a result of a landslide coupled with the eruption. Their combined research techniques revealed discrepancies with the expected wave heights and the actual historic tsunami, which were reconciled once the landslide was factored into the simulation. Karsten explains the instability of Colombo, likening the landslide-induced eruption to uncorking champagne. This research not only sheds light on past events, but also informs future monitoring and potentially early warning systems for underwater volcanic activity. The study emphasizes the significance of 3D marine reflection seismics, a method that produces seismic volumes for detailed subsea floor geological analysis, as opposed to the more traditional 2D seismics, enhancing our understanding of the Earth's underwater geological phenomena. And we can finally put to rest what happened during that chaotic week in 1650 to create such a large tsunami. Thanks for watching.